What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to boost our vocabulary by learning 10 advanced crazy verbs. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off. So first, we're going to look at five C1 phrasal verbs. And then in the second part of the lesson, we're going to learn five C2 ones. So the first C1 phrasal verb on my list today is to come across. To come across. It has different meanings. The one we're going to look at today is to give other people a certain impression, opinion, or feeling. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, she comes across as a confident person, but actually she's quite shy. She comes across as a confident person, but actually she's quite shy. And the second example, I don't know him well, but he comes across as a friendly and laid back guy. I don't know him well, but he comes across as a friendly and laid by guy. Now let's move on to our second phrasal verb, which is to do away with something. To do away with something. It means to get rid of something, to stop using something, or to put an end to something. And now two examples. The first one, I like to do away with things I don't use anymore. I like to do away with things I don't use anymore. I don't like to hoard things. And one more example. I hope we'll do away with diesel cars and start using electric ones. I hope we'll do away with diesel cars and start using electric ones. Let's continue. Our phrasal verb number three is to fit in. To fit in. It means to belong to a group of people, to feel comfortable and at ease with them. And now, two examples. The first one, Grace tried to fit in, but she never felt comfortable with her family-in-law. Grace tried to fit in, but she never felt comfortable with her family-in-law. And one more example, she fit in with her new colleagues straight away. She fit in with her new colleagues straight away. Number four, to get into something. To get into something. It means to become interested in an activity or a new hobby. And now, two examples. The first one, I got into yoga many years ago. I got into yoga many years ago. And one more example, I tried running, but I never got into it. I tried running, but I never got into it. And now let's move on to our last C1 phrasal verb, which is to kick in. To kick in. It means to start to have an effect. And now a few examples. The first one, when you have a baby, your maternal instinct kicks in. When you have a baby, your maternal instinct kicks in. And one more example, I'm afraid of heights. Whenever I look down from above, my adrenaline kicks in. I'm afraid of heights. Whenever I look down from above, my adrenaline kicks in. And guys, before we continue and learn five C2 phrasal verbs, just a super quick reminder, please smash that red button if you like my channel and hit the bell icon to get a notification. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. Thank you. And now we're going to move on to our five C2 phrasal verbs that are very common as well. Number six, not be cut out for something. Not be cut out for something. It means not to be the right type of person for something. And now two examples. The first one, I like living in an apartment in the city. 
I'm not cut out for the country life. I like living in an apartment in the city. I'm not cut out for the country life. And the second example is an extract from the song The Lakes by Taylor Swift. And she sings, I'm not cut out for all these cynical clowns, these hunters with cell phones. I'm not cut out for all these cynical clowns, these hunters with cell phones. Number seven, to go on. To go on. It has many different meanings. One of them is to talk in an annoying way about something for a long time. And now a few examples. The first one, she loves going on about her children. She loves going on about her children. And one more example, she went on and on about her problems during the lunch. She went on and on about her problems during the lunch. Number eight, to jump at something. To jump at something. It means to take advantage of a new opportunity. And now, two examples. The first one, Jack jumped at the chance to move abroad. Jack jumped at the chance to move abroad. And one more example, she jumped at the opportunity to get promoted. She jumped at the opportunity to get promoted. Tomorrow to go, number nine, to run around. To run around. It means to be very busy doing a lot of different things. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I'm completely drained. I've been running around the whole day. I'm completely drained. I've been running around the whole day. To be drained means to be exhausted. And one more example, you need to slow down. You can't be running around all the time. You need to slow down. You can't be running around all the time. And last but not least, to talk someone out of something. To talk someone out of something. It means to persuade someone not to do something. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, Tess wanted to have her tongue pierced, but I talked her out of it. Tess wanted to have her tongue pierced, but I talked her out of it. And the last example, she wanted to buy a designer handbag, but I talked her out of it. The price was exorbitant. She wanted to buy a designer handbag, but I talked her out of it. The price was exorbitant. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video up to the very end. If you want to learn more C1 and C2 phrasal verbs, check out the previous editions right here. And of course, I want to wish you Merry Christmas. Have a good time with your family and friends. And of course, if you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. Oh, oh, oh. See you next week. It's going to be our last lesson in 2020. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Ciao!